Guys, um, you guys heard of uh, spin screed and also uh, for concrete uh, vibrators, things like that. The uh, the uh, let, let's run this first. So spin screed. This is Marshallton. They're they're very nice to to uh, offer me any spin screed I like sent out to me. They'll send it out to me um, to try out. I'm I'm not sure when I'm going to do that. Um, let's let's go from there. Let me uh, let's let it run, and let's go from there. So it's a it's an aluminum pipe, four inches in diameter, seamless, and this is what it does. It spins on one end with the uh, angle drill, and this is a bearing on this end, and the uh, connection there. So what is going on here? Let, let's look at this. It's spinning at said speed, whatever this may be, and from there, let me let me enlarge the screen a little bit. Here we go. Well, that was the other way around, wasn't it? So from there, um, it's it's grabbing the paste and sort of spinning it and slapping it around this side. I don't really see that any tamping going on, compressing of it besides, uh, you know, whatever the weight of this might be and the small pushing of the rake here. So I don't know what the PSI, ultimate PSI would be. You get voids here because you don't have anybody down in there really, really, you know, sliding back and forth. I like the okay. So compliments. I like the speed of it. If if uh, if they did some testing on it, as far as the PSIs, what are you getting here? And I like to see some surfaces of it. Eh, like I said, they're sending it out to me. But let, let's play this. But I'm, I'm not sure which. I'm not sure if uh when I'll do this. They do 20 feet. Hmm. I think it's 40 feet you can do before it starts uh deflecting in the middle. Um. Or was it 20? I've got to look at my notes. As you can see here, the uh, the uh, paste is being plowed forward. Remember, this is spinning in this direction. So it's grabbing the paste off and slapping it back. So is this plowing stones or something like that? I can't, I can't be sure of that. It's not like uh, a screed where you're going sliding back and forth or, or they, uh, oh, you just drag it and then replace, drag and replace. That's what it mounts to. I'm a back and forth guy of of a screeder. I like the compaction that you get with that a smooth finish, the flatness. Hmm. If this was going slower, would I like it? Oh, it's got to break the friction of this. We know that much. There's a little bit of cream there, which is which is right now here. We don't have. We probably got a low spot there up here. Maybe a low spot. I don't see any cream there. But this guy's tooling. You know, theoretically. It, it, it's uh, it's being no there's no theoretical about it you see it working here we go so again the compaction is what we're ah, come on see he doesn't have any cream there when he pushed away well let's see if they do it again I'll pause it when they pull away again and you can see where the uh, where it's not plowing the, con the, con the cement in front of it at all and that would be the uh, the lack of it I'd say that's pretty damn good all the way down. This is what I'd want to look at right here to see what's being plowed and what's being left behind. How thick of a cream of paste. You don't want too thick of a paste up top. Your concrete gets weaker. Your mix. Let's go back to this one. I believe it's uh, the uh, right about there. You can see that he does. He's, he wasn't plowing anything here, but over here he was. So this guy on the right needs to get over here and start getting it in there. Um, so you don't want too thick of a paste here. Now let's jump right into these vibra screeds uh, and then I'll cut the video short of that. Let me critique this one. Um, let's see if I can just jump forward in it. I really don't care about the video itself, the content, short of the vibra screed. All right, so these should be going on top of a screed, not, not just out here in the open. Um, it also migrates the stone down below the concrete's level too far down this vibra vibration and you know and you can't go back and fix this you can't stop for a second and use your, your foot to push this in there because your are your then making a low spot a dip so yeah it may seem like it's easy uh one and two guys but it's just technically wrong for the concrete you're you're, you're defeating your purpose also, you need to use a very low slump, not watery slumps like I've seen these guys do. I've yet to see somebody use one of these in the best way possible, which would be a three or four, three to four slump. 
they had that concrete flowing when they dropped this guy on it. And I've seen a guy that, you know, claims he's been a contractor for 30 years doing concrete work and he's, he brags about his Viber screed. Again, um, he's not on the form work. He's just using it like a, like a regular screed, but the vibration is the problem along with the high water content. I fat, you know, that's that's fast forward, and you know, it lo looks nice, but again, you've got your concrete, your dip, just to prove that the boss does so does some work. Okay, so he's going, he's vibrating this section twice. So you're vibrating this section twice. This is where the car's tracks would be. This would make this more weak because the stone are going to drop down the bottom if you got paste up top. It's the problem with, with uh, non-professionals. I don't care if they're making money on this, that professional. Non-professionals, meaning that you, you, don't, you don't, they don't have any logic. They're just, con they think, con they're, not, they're disrespecting what's going on in the concrete. They think you just throw it down there, it hardens up, and you finish it, and that's it. But he just doubled, vibrated this section here. And that's where the stones are going to migrate down the furthest, which makes it just paste up top. It's just, it's just ridiculous these people do this. And so, yeah, this guy's called whatever he's called. I stand by my position. And let's see if anybody commented as such. Um, no, see, they, no, one, no one knows what they're looking at. See, no idea why somebody give it a thumbs down. So let's see the comment. Obviously jealous. Okay. Um, I don't know why they give thumbs down. What would I, how would I know that? I'm critiquing it straight, not a thumbs down. I'm just coming out boldly. And let's go from there. Malt double vibration. And what's going to happen to this rest of this cream? It just, where's it go? It just pulls it off. And now he's magging it. So this is flattening the surface and pushing down any stones that might be near the top but hey I can't imagine any stones near the top of this surface with well right there right at the end um, what do we got here let's see up oh, stamping so it's going to uh, stamping or color it color let's see if it's stamping okay so now they're embedding the stamp the the, uh, the broadcast and there are your stamps there are your stamps Okay, so it's maybe three inch in stone. So right now you just stamped and you've got this cream up here that he stamped pretty much. So you can imagine that's a weak uh, surface. Um, I love how he's cutting it less at the end. Um, well, it's not an early entry saw, so he's trying to control do a, uh, control joints at this point. Um, okay, I'm just going to fast forward. Yeah, I've got this uh, sprayer myself. And done. All right. Um, so that part, you know, no critique of that. I mean, it's, it's stamped. You know, I can't critique his, you can't critique any of this. That's just, that's still good to go. Um, I, I won't do that. All right. So that's what, I, that's my thoughts on vibra, vibra screeds and now the roller screed. You know, uh, what do you guys think? Should I get a big... 10-footer, 20-footer, 6-foot sidewalk one. What do you think?